all the way to the Lord of mercy and truth unto death is the Baptist covenant and his testimony. For the sake of the name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him in law in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall draw among good things, and his seed from the tears. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes have record the Lord's beard, it's so strong that he died of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am a multitude of the poor. The afflictions of heart and all the fire bring me up of my necessities. Be all my brokenness and my toil and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are both of fire and wisdom, and I just hate it as they hate me. Be my soul and rescue me, let me not be conditioned, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have pleased on me, for I am the O Lord. We give me the of God and of all his afflictions. Have mercy on thee, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot on my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and be thou when thou were judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved to faith in the secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me the pits of and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me do your joy and gladness. The bones of the young of they shall rejoice. Turn my face away from my sins, the blood of all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and be your right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy loving spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, my tongue shall be joyous in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I am in the world offering, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, the heart that is broken, and humble God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure and design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with obeying and open offerings. Then shall they offer bullets upon thine altar. The Lord be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We bow down before thy most pure image, O good one, asking forgiveness of our transgressions, O Christ God. For as I know, will thou wast well pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh, that thou mightest deliver from slavery to the enemy, those whom thou hast fashioned. Wherefore we cry to thee in thanksgiving, thou that filled all things with joy, O our Savior, when thou camest to save the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We bask in anticipation, O ye people, clapping your hands with faith. And his temple with love all rejoicing today, and his flaming with splendor. For the Mother of God, whom we ever glorify with him, that the sails of those who gloriously pass over from those on earth to those on high, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true one that has blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. The who supplicate is healing together with the holy apostles that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O uncircumcised Lord, the Father, knowing the victorious images, un uninscribed and divine divine, of thine ineffable and divine dispensation for mankind, of the true incarnation, we honor it with veneration. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who calls all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide your life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, dictate our bodies, correct our thoughts, give our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Come to us about with thy holy angels, the guarding guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of an unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For honorable and the and the young and very and the seraph, and who now corruption gave birth to God the Word, the very day of the Lord, said, Lord, the 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 Lord, Amen. O oh, Master God, the Father Almighty, the Lord, the only begotten the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, one God and one power, have mercy on the sinner by the choice of which I know is saving God and the Holy Spirit, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, come, let us worship God our King. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. O oh, God, in thy name, say, in thy strength, to God, thy feet. O oh, God, hearken unto my prayer, be dear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, a mighty man that shall master my soul, and the house is not before themselves. For behold, I now come to the Lord, if he forgets throughout my soul. He will be healed upon my enemies, as we destroy them by thy suit. When they shall attach to thy sanctity, I will confess that the Lord is his good, proud of every affliction and self deliverance, and my heart is down upon my enemies. Give me, O God, unto my prayer, and this day not my supplication, and then thou shalt be and hear me. I will speak in my meditation, and I will call out the voice of the enemy that the oppression of the sinner. Because there is no mercy upon me, I will trap for the end against me. My heart is troubled in me, and the pleasure of death is fallen upon me. He is coming from the home, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Lord, give me wounds like a dove, and I will cry and be at rest. Go and spread the cloth and walk in the wilderness. I waited for God to save the need from any hardness and from canvas. Plunge them into the rest of the Lord and divide their tongues. For I have seen the mission against him in the city. Day and night they go round and bow upon the walls. And even when toil and unrighteousness are in their disorder. And you would be in the sea and not be pardoned from her peace. For if an enemy has begotten me, I might have enjoyed it. And if he had hated me and spoken both words against me, I might have saved myself from him. But 
from the evil one. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The universe embroidered by the immaterial spirit for the sake of the glorious memorial, no wedded be quiet out to thee with gladness. We joyous, O Virgin, thou boast of Christians. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who calls all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make taste our bodies, correct our thoughts, clear our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Come through the battle with thy holy angels, and guard and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Who are me to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and the omnipotent, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very tale tells us that he there we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God and Lord of hosts and maker of all creation, who by the tender compassion of thy mercy, which transcendeth comprehension, did send down an only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross did tear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby did shine the over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O Master, love for us mankind, accept also from the sinners each prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destruction and dark transgressions, and from all enemies, both is and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Now thou must flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts and the words or thoughts of evil, but fears the blow with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee and being guided by thy light. As we behold thee, the unapproachable, everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the unoriginated Father, with an only begotten Son, and an all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. of the whole world and the good state of the holy churches of God and the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our great Lord and Father and most holy patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend metropolitan Hari, and for Sark of the Russian Church abroad, for our Lord, most Reverend Archbishop Kiniel, for the venerable priesthood and the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this land, its authorities, and our forces, and for all who with faith and piety dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, 
and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he may deliver his people from their enemies, visible and invisible, and make it permanent oneness of mind, brotherly love, and piety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and the imprisoned, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulations, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Oh, Lord, mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, <coughs> glorious Lady Theotokos and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. Save us, have mercy. 
and to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all of the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, Lover of mankind, and unto thee do we set our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thou host of Christians. 
For by him all things were made that are in heaven and on earth, both visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in him all things may be preeminent. And to thy spirit, wisdom, hallelujah, in the second tone, arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy holiness. seen them, 
and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulations, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. That always being guarded under thy dominion, you may send the glory unto thee, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
is good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Son, with whom art blessed, together with thy most holy good and life giving life giving spirit, now and ever and to be his of Amen. Peace be on the Lord, and to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I believe in one God the Father of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and all in mind. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, in light of thy true God, a true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and descended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, with the Father and the Son together, is worship and glorified his faith by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace.
Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
spirits, all the saints, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. The precious gifts set forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. That our God, the lover of mankind, having accepted them upon his holy and most heavenly noetic altars and order of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the whole world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the bread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. Save us, O Master, with boldness and without condemnation, dare we call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to save our
And as thou did not refuse to enter into thine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so be also to enter into the house of my lowly soul, leprous and sinful. And as thou did not reject the harlot and sinner by me, which he came and touched to thee, so be compassionate also and be a sinner as I approach and touch to thee. And as thou didst feel the loathing for the defiled and unclean lips of her that kissed to thee, do thou also no loathe my defiled lips, nor mine abominable and empty mouth on my polluted and unclean tongue. But let the fiery coal of the most holy body and the precious blood be unto me for sanctification and enlightenment and health for my lowly soul and body unto the lightening of the burden of my many sins for preservation from every act of the devil, for the expulsion and prohibition of my evil and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the keeping of thy commandments, unto the application of thy divine grace, unto the acquiring of thy kingdom. For now with this thing do I approach thee, O Christ God, but as one trust thee in thine ineffable goodness, and that I may not be less abstaining from thy communion become the prey of the spiritual wolf. Wherefore do I entreat thee to thou the only holy one, O Master, sanctifying my soul and body, my mind and heart, my belly and my inward parts, and be you me entirely, and implant thy fear in my members, and make thy sanctification enable from me, and be unto me a helper and defender, guiding my life in peace. Thou sayest to thee also to stand at thy right hand with thy saints through the intercessions and supplications of thy most dear mother, of an image of ministers and immaculate hosts, and of all the saints who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee. Amen. O only pure and sinless sore, who through the ineffable compassion of thy love for mankind did take on all of our substance from the pure and virgin blood of her that bred thee supernaturally, through the descent of the divine spirit and by the good will of the everlasting Father, O Christ Jesus, wisdom of God and peace and power, thou who through the assumption of our nature to take upon thyself thy life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify the soul, corrupting passions of my body. Transgressions both voluntary and involuntary, whether word or deed, in all true ignorance. And thou save me, partake without condemnation, thy most pure mysteries, unto the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. O thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for all I speak of the mysteries of thine enemies. Neither will I give thee a kiss as the Jews, but like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. And thou this communion be unto me for judgment or condemnation, O Lord, but unto the healing of the soul and the body. Amen. The servant of God. Oh, 
grace that touches and Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, and to all thy people. 
For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory and thanksgiving and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forever and Blessed be the name of the Lord, and shall continually be in my mouth. The Lord, and the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. I magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come not, come unto him and be enlightened and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp around about them that fear him and will deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who hopes in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desire of life and love to see a good day? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God out. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the right. <clears throat> Upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. <clears throat> so the face of the Lord is against them that do evil utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them and delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keeps all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong. The Lord will live in here. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate this feast of our Lord. And this feast is called the translation of the icon not made with hands. And this, in fact, is the third feast of our Lord that we celebrate in this month of August. The three feasts that we have in this month are actually starts in the beginning of this month, on the first day of this month, which is actually the procession of the life-giving cross. This is considered a feast of our Lord. The second feast is the Feast of the Transfiguration, which we had celebrated a couple weeks ago, and now we come to the third feast. And what's interesting is that each of these three feasts each have a certain theme that are represented in our Lord's life. For example, the Feast of the Procession of the Cross, is the theme is uh, the sacrifice and the passion of Christ. Whereas in the Transfiguration, we see the, the glory of Christ, how Christ was glorified by the Father, and also the same glory that he shone with in his resurrected body. But this feast today that we celebrate, which is the feast of the icon I made with hands, is actually probably represented by the feast of the healing that Christ gave unto us. Because this feast, the, the, what, what, what we celebrate actually, is there was this emperor, and uh, he was an uh, emperor and a leader of, uh, uh, of a town, a place in Syria called Edessa. And he had heard about Christ healing people. And unfortunately, this emperor had a, uh, a leprosy on him. And he wanted to find Christ and have Christ heal him because he heard about the great miracle that were around Judea. And he sent one of his uh, fellow uh, followers and his servants to find Christ and to uh, deliver him this letter that uh, this emperor wrote asking for his healing. He also, because he did not know what Christ looked like, he asked his, uh, his servant to, to depict him, because his servant was also an artist, to depict him in, an, in, a, in a painting of some sort so he can see the face of Christ. When this uh, disciple came to Jerusalem and to uh, Judea to find Christ, you know, there was very many people, but Christ had known and read the heart of this man and knew exactly what needed to be done. So he called over the servant in this great crowd, and he told the servant that his master would be healed, and he knew about this letter. 
and the servant asked to depict uh, his face an icon. So Christ told him, um, please take this cloth and water and bring it to me. And he took this cloth and he washed his face with the water and wiped his, his face with the cloth. And when, the, when uh, he gave this cloth back to the servant, his image was depicted on that, on that uh, cloth, which is the same image we have above here, above our royal doors, and I believe even in the center of the church. Um, and this great image brought healing of leprosy to this uh, ruler that was seeking Christ. So many, this icon, this image was passed along many, many years, and eventually this, this feast is actually the celebration of the transfer of this image from Odessa, I believe, to Constantinople. And what we see is that the healing of Christ is always present. He came here to heal us, not just heal us from our worldly diseases, our bodily diseases, but to heal us from our sins, to free us from the sins that we have. So let us pray to God and pray to Christ that we will receive this true healing through his glorious image, through his, his uh, glorified face, through the sufferings that he gave unto us. Let us pray that he will give, grant unto us this healing that we need and in order to be able to uh, come fully and be fully uh, healed of everything that we have so we can approach with fear and trembling the throne of the living God. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, God of all glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hope now and ever, and unto ages and ages to come. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. May Christ our true God, through the intercession of his most pure mother, of our holy God, bring fathers of the holy royal martyrs, and of all the martyrs, and of our Father among the saints, Herman the wonder work of Laska. Of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the Holy Righteous John of Shanghai and San Francisco, and of the Holy Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and a lover of mankind. His holy and sin, Lord, great glory, Father, through you, patriarch of Moscow and of Russia. His Eminence, Solaria, Metropolitan, New York, and Eastern America, and His Eminence, Korea, Archbishop of San Francisco, and Western America. This our country and those who would make well therein, the parishioners of this holy temple and all Orthodox Christians, reserve the Lord for many years. <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, um, it's with no small amount of sadness but with great hope and uh, with tremendous gratitude that we recognize today um, the departure um, to Texas of our dear Father Dionysi and Matushka Dorothea. Um, it's, uh, it's impossible to put into words um, my gratitude for all that you have done for the church um, and for our friendship over these many, many decades. Our children grew up together. We have so many wonderful memories. And um, the thing that I want to say is that um, though there is a change occurring, you know, we won't, we won't be seeing you as frequently as uh, we would certainly hope. Um, for those who love Christ, for those who abide in that prayer and in that light of Christ, there is no separation. And I know that we will continue to um, feel as close to one another as we have all of these years that we've known one another. And um, this parish, these walls, are saturated with your prayers and uh, with your beautiful chanting. And um, this is a legacy that uh, you leave here and that will abide here and that will be a source of consolation uh, for all of us uh, every time we walk into this sacred space. Um, it's something that makes the church um, a wonderful place and a consolation for our souls um, because the church and all the icons within the church um, absorb the prayers of all of us. And uh, this church is certainly saturated 
with, with your prayers. And so we wish you um, farewell, um, and uh, we will continue uh, to have you in our hearts always, and uh, you will be here in this parish through your prayers and all of your efforts. God bless you. A prosperous and peaceful life, health and salvation and good success in all things, grant, O Lord, to thy servants, Reverend Deacon Dionysi and Matushka Dorothea, and preserve them for many years. Sin, 
the promise and above to the empty of communion, every evil doer, every passion they flee as from fire. As intercessors, I offer unto the all the saints, the commanders of the body, the souls, the forerunner, the wise apostles, and further than undefiled your mother, whose entreaty do thou accept from my compassionate Christ and make thy servant a child of life, for thou alone art our sanctification of good one and the radiance of our souls. And unto thee as God and Master, we all send in glory as it be every day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may the holy body be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious blood for the remission of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And as they dress, that can come in God, save me a sinner to stand at the right hand of thy glory. Through the intercessions of thy most dear mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady, feel just as light of my dark and soul, my whole protection, refuge, consolation, my joy. I thank thee that thou hast thou saved me one man worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy son. O thou who gave us birth to the true life, do thou enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. Thou who gave us birth to the source of immortality, revive me on dead and sin. Thou who art the lovingly compassionate mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and grant me compunction and contrition in my heart, and humility in my thoughts, and the recall of my thoughts from captivity. And thou save me until my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession with which to him and glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and most glorified art thou unto the ages. Amen. Now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples. A light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from the mouth of your beacon has illumined the universe, and disclosed unto the world treasures of unkindness, and shown us eyes of humility. Go all instructing by the words of Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the word Christ our God that save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens hast thou received the divine grace, and by thy lips dost thou teach all to worship the one God in unity. O John Chrysostom, O blessed righteous one, rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher revealing things divine. Go now and ever and unto the ages of ages, all men. O protection of Christians, that cannot be put to shame, O mediation unto the Creator unfailing, disdain not the sobbing of voices of sinners, but be the quick of good unto help us to and pay cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession and speed up to make supplication. Thou didst ever protect us, hail to us, them that honor thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the chairman and young and very more glorious than the seraphim, without corruption, gave the spirit of God the word, the very tale to close of thee, do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers for Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen.